If you want to know the best steamy TV shows, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2000s. Number 10. Surprise me. <laughs> Gossip Girl is a teen drama television series created by Josh Schwartz and Stephanie Savage. The title of this influential show comes from the omniscient narrator that guides us through the troubled lives of its many dimensional characters. It revolves around privileged upper-class adolescents living in Manhattan. Beginning with the return of a once-missing girl, we become witness to teen mysteries and good old coming-of-age drama that make this show the ride it is. There's something alluring about an angel drawn to the dark side. Or a devil redeemed. <sighs> Number 9. You're really gonna keep stripping in front of me? It's real mature. I'm done cheering, so I'm gonna change. The Vampire Diaries is a supernatural teen drama television series created by Kevin Williamson and Julie Pleck. Life, love, and relationships are not easy for human beings, and especially people of youth. But who would have imagined that it is even harder for supernatural, unkillable vampires with superpowers who live for hundreds of years? Love Sucks is the premise of this fan-favorite vampire drama, which follows several superhuman beings on their journey to find out what life means when you aren't part of the living. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, warning next time? It's nothing you haven't seen before. I know, I'm just saying there's a bathroom less than 10 feet away. You know, that's what I like about you, Stefan. Always a gentleman. Number 8. Nip Tuck, created by Ryan Murphy. Focusing on the two owners of a plastic surgery center, the show follows these friends through their rough lives, which are again and again troubled by failing families, being seduced by women and trying to bring new clients to the business. With all that already happening, the business becomes even harder when they have to work their way through numerous hardships, ranging from personal relationships to clients with criminal connections. Where's your partner? I said I wanted two doctors. There are 10 girls here. Yeah. I've done 10 women before. Number 7. You feel so good. Even warmer than usual. You are so fucking beautiful. True Blood is a fantasy horror drama television series created by Alan Ball. Never have you seen such intense and passionate tropes of gritty yet realistic vampires as in this nightmarish modern tale. Freshening up the tropes with a world where the existence of vampires is known to humanity, the world of True Blood gives the species the opportunity to take part in daily life due to scientifically created blood that prevents them from the desire to kill people. We just can't walk in there and tell them. No, we have to. Somehow, someday, God will forgive us. <laughs> it's first before our own. That's right. God comes first. Uh -huh. Number 6. The Tudors created by Michael Hurst. This realistically adapted depiction of 16th century Great Britain offers themes and tropes of a real-life Game of Thrones, depicting betrayal, alliances, and jealousy within one reigning family. Over the course of the show, we focus mainly on Henry VIII and his struggle to remain a lasting dynasty, while his friends fall and enemies rise around him, while at the same time retaining his humanity and sanity. You've been at the French court for two years. Tell me, what French graces have you learned? Number 5. Skins, created by Brian Elsley and Jamie Britton. This very true-to-life journey focuses on the lives of teenagers and their quest to understanding what life and adulthood can, or should, mean. Discussing really controversial topics like dysfunctional family, depression, drugs, self-harm, stress disorders, and more. The show focuses on each of the several characters through episodic structures. This is what makes the story work so well. Every character feels fleshed out and is depicted in his very own skin. Okay, we are stuck, yeah? We still start, then make folk. English boy, yes? Yes. Number four. Rome, created by John Milius, William J. MacDonald, and Bruno Heller. 
setting a refreshing tone with a mixture of real-life inspired history and fictional mythology. Rome is not only suspenseful, but truly epic. Beginning with Julius Caesar's Civil War in 49 BC, the show captures his rise to dictatorship and his ultimate fall with the horrific consequences of war, destruction, and blood, leading the normal man to fight for his survival. Have I seen you before? <laughs> yes. In Alexandria, with Caesar. It's those uniforms you wear. You all look alike. Number three. Whoa, slow down there. I'm here mainly to burnish the samurai's banter. Can I show you my tits? I, I told you, you don't have to. Californication is a comedy drama television series created by Tom Capinos. Set in Los Angeles, the series follows Hank Moody, a troubled playboy author who tries to juggle his career, his relationship with his daughter, and his ex-girlfriend, as well as his appetite for beautiful women. But the self-loathing, narcissistic author struggles to overcome writer's block, and when his new novel is stolen and published under the name of a woman he had sex with, the new gained absurdity is unstoppable. A blowjob from you. Well, something tells me it's not gonna suck itself, Hank. <laughs> no, but, but sure none. I'm not totally fucking hot none. Number two. Hey, Vince, it's Scarlet. Is this, uh, is this a bad time? Hey, Scarlet! Hey, how are you? Entourage is a comedy-drama television series created by Doug Ellen. This intense, behind-the-scenes experience of Hollywood was loosely inspired by the experience of Mark Wahlberg as an upcoming Hollywood star. It chronicles the acting career of Vincent Chase, a young movie star, and his childhood friends as they attempt to further their nascent careers in Los Angeles. Together with a trusty agent, the group explores the real-life situations in modern-day Hollywood, and many famous actors, athletes, and other celebrities who play themselves join them on their journey. Guess who? Um, Edward James Olmos. All oh, right. <laughs> you didn't even say his name right. <laughs> hey, How are what's you? Up? How you doing? Good. Nice to see you. Hey, boys. Hey, hey what's going on? Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. What is she still doing here? She was running the business that allows you to live in this rather bourgeois maison de famille. Get out. What now? <laughs> Do I really need to tell you? We'd probably be better off if you did. <laughs> okay. I want you to make Gail happy. Ow! It's love. Show some respect. Sometimes it is about the pain. Number one. Are we going to eat? Don't ask any more questions. Take off your dress. Mad Men is a period drama television series created by Matthew Weiner. The series revolves around one of New York's most prestigious advertising agencies at the beginning of the 1960s, focusing on one of the firm's most mysterious but extremely talented ad executives, Don Draper. Introducing us to the absurd, classy, and sometimes immoral world of advertising, we also get to know the changing moods and social mores of the United States throughout the 1960s for which the series received widespread critical acclaim. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.